October 29, 2012. Hurricane Sandy made landfall on the northeastern coast of the United States. Water rushed into subway tunnels in New York City. Waves 32 feet high slammed the Jersey Shore. Streets flooded and homes were destroyed. This is probably about 30 yards from the actual railing here at the seawall, but it's as high as the park benches there. This is a record surge for Battery Park in New York City. Most of the destruction from Hurricane Sandy does not come from wind or rain. It comes from the ocean's great power in huge tidal surges, or storm surges, that wash onto the shore. These surges are the result of drastic changes in sea level that can occur during major storms. It's estimated that the energy from these tidal surges caused more than $68 billion in damage. A tidal surge during a hurricane obviously has a huge amount of energy. But there's also a great deal of energy in daily tides. Do you think it's possible to harness that energy to supply our daily needs? It's a question some enterprising companies are trying to answer. Almost three quarters of the earth is covered in water, and almost three quarters of the electricity in the world is used within 200 miles of an ocean. If somehow you could put the two of these together, it would be a breakthrough in terms of how we generate and distribute electricity around the world. Tides are the normal rise and fall of sea level. Twice a day, the sea level rises over several hours, reaching high tide, then begins to fall over several more hours, reaching low tide. Take a look at the difference between high and low tide here. With time-lapse video, we see the water level rises at high tide because a very large volume of water moves towards the shore. And the water level drops at low tide because that large volume of water moves away from the shore. This movement of large volumes of water back and forth contains a great deal of kinetic energy, or energy in motion. Scientists call this hydrokinetic energy, hydro meaning water. So would it really be possible to harness the hydrokinetic energy of tides to generate electricity? The science concept behind hydrokinetic energy is not that far off from what humans have been using for thousands of years. As long as 2,000 years ago, the Greeks used hydrokinetic energy of moving water to turn large grindstones to grind wheat into flour. In the late 19th century, water turbines were first used to convert hydrokinetic energy into electricity, or hydroelectric energy. The Ocean Renewable Power Company has placed large hydrokinetic turbines in Cobscook Bay, which is part of the Bay of Fundy in Maine. The Bay of Fundy is ideal because it has a huge tidal range. The difference in water level between high and low tide is 17 meters, or about 55 feet. The hydrokinetic energy from the moving water in and out of the bay is what turns the turbines and produces hydroelectricity. The basic technology that ORPC develops is a hydrokinetic turbine. Machines that transfer that motion of the water into electrical energy from a subsea generator. The underwater turbine acts just like a paddle wheel. The hydrokinetic energy of the moving water turns the blades, transferring the kinetic energy to a generator and produces predictable and clean hydroelectricity. Thanks to its power and reliability, tidal energy may just be the next chapter in using water as an energy resource and be the wave of our energy future. Now it's your turn to research tidal energy as a potential source for electricity. Go online and see if you can find other places in the world that use the hydrokinetic energy of tides to generate electrical power.